Good afternoon, Bobcats, and welcome to BBTV. My name is Lewis, and today is Monday, September 17th, 2018. As always, let's begin with the daily announcements. The Buffett United Sisterhood of Awesomeness are accepting applications. The club is open to girls 5th through 8th who are interested in women's history as well as supporting various women's ideas and programs. Pick up your application in the office or Cottage 7. Applications must be completed and returned to Ms. Packard who later, uh, no later than tomorrow. Attention 6th, 7th, and 8th graders interested in joining the speech team. There will be an informational meeting during Bobcat Den this Wednesday in the library. Buffett Bobcats are starting a new dance team. Auditions are open to all 7th and 8th graders who are interested. Practice for tryouts will be held after school today in the cafeteria for from 3.15 to 4.45. Girls will be taught a dance routine that will be used tri uh, for tryouts. The actual tryouts will be held this Thursday. Those who those are the announcements for today. Now we take you to the BBTV news desk for a quick story that you need to know. Hello Bobcats, this is Kira here at BBTV News Desk for your top story of the, of the day. Fortnite players enjoyed a big update recently this past week on Wednesday. Epic Games released a 5.4 update, which changed a couple things about the game. Some of the changes included removing certain weapons and adding others. It also lowered the graphic quality, which will improve the overall performance of the game. Another change players may notice in this game mode with the update, the Save the World has a new has new skins. Also, as a cool bonus, the cube on the Battle Royale Island is now drawn out on the cube on the map. So, Bobcats, it's time to form your opinion. Are you excited for this new update? What's up, Bobcats? This is Josh, and the BBTV Sports Zone bringing you coverage of all big things sports happening in the world of sports. Let's begin by checking out some of the recent scores of our Buffett Bobcats. Last week, volleyball had a game and won two sets. The first set was 25 to 14, and the second set was 25 to 21. On Thursday, we had the varsity football team taking on Mars right here at Buffett. The final score was a Bobcat victory, 22 to 14. Tune into tomorrow's broadcast for some awesome game footage shot by our reporters. Some big games happening outside of Buffett that took place over the weekend were the Huskers taking on the Troy Trojans. Nebraska struggled all morning and lost a close game to 19-24. The first, this is the first time the Huskers started out the season with two losses ever since 1947. They will have another tough challenge this weekend as they travel to Michigan to, the, to take on the Michigan Wolverines. That's all for sports. Now over to the BBC TV Weather Lab for the three-day forecast. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Matthew here for your three-day forecast. Starting out, our, our school week is going to be hot. Today, the high will be 92 and a low will be 71. Tomorrow, it stays in the 90s with a high of 90 and a low of 72. For Wednesday, we have cross-country meet after school and the runners will need to make sure to stay hydrated be because we'll have a high of 92 and a low of 73. That's all for the weather today. Have a great day. Hey Bobcats, this is Mariah and it looks like our wheel has landed on Happy What? This is where we look at a unique holiday taking place on the calendar. For today's segment, we will be talking about National Apple Dumpling Day. This unique holiday is celebrated every year on September 17th. It's a day to celebrate the incoming fall season and all the good food to come with it. One apple popular one popular fall dish is apple dumplings. These are basically a crescent roll with apples and any other toppings. Apple dumplings are often served with ice cream. If you like apples, then you should check out the Apple Jack Festival, which is held in Nebraska City. This annual festival will start this coming up weekend and will bring in 60 to 80,000 people. We hope that you've enjoyed this 
edition of BBTV as much as you've enjoyed producing it. Signing off, this has been Lewis. Have a great day, and we'll see you right here back tomorrow for Buffett News.